cool. It's that time of year again, my friends. Oh, man, it's 2020 and we could all use a little extra joy in our lives. Thank goodness Christmas is just right around the corner. Thank you all for coming back for another episode of Budget Lawns. I appreciate you so much. If you're subscribed already, thank you. If you haven't, please consider doing so. Leave me a thumbs up, comment, all that stuff. Helps me out so much here on the channel. Oh my gosh, we are in the garage today. It's cold and rainy and stormy. Putting my uh, holiday decorating plans a day behind, but you can see we have got everything out to get the house lit up for Christmas. I talk about this a lot through my videos during the lawn season about how much I enjoy decorating the house for the holidays. Uh, one of the big reasons why I really couldn't care less that the lawn season is over and why I don't overseed with rye in the fall because when it comes time to put the Christmas lights up, I don't want to have to worry about mowing the lawn. This is just for me uh, one of the more exciting times of the season. I actually enjoy this just as much as I do lawn care. Um, you know, I actually think lawn care is more for me. Uh, I, I enjoy it because it's kind of my de-stressor. It's very therapeutic. But when it comes to putting up all this stuff, this is really for everyone else. It's for my kids. I said I was going to do this for the kids. It's kind of a kind of a Christmas present every year. Just seeing their faces in excitement, to see me putting it up. I, my my three year old's been asking me when I was going to put up Santa lights for about the last month now. So it's so worth it. I do this to see the joy on everybody else's faces. Um, and each year I do it, I add a little bit something else to it. Um, so what we're going to do over the course of maybe three or four videos, um, we're going to talk about Christmas lights. I'm going to tell you about what I do, give you a few tips if you've never done it before, and just uh, go through my process to make it look real streamlined and real clean uh, because I think that's uh, really important when you're putting Christmas lights up that it doesn't just look thrown up there. It can really be the difference between making it look really, really nice or just sloppy. So I hope you'll stick around through these next few videos. You know, we tend to talk about lawn care a lot here on these YouTube channels. But I think we're all looking for this kind of content, uh, especially lawn care content, because we all are similar in some way shape or form i think a lot of us just take a lot of pride in our homes whether it be the grass or how we maintain them and i've noticed that a lot of us do do christmas decorations so i think it uh it's just a community of like-minded people who enjoy being homeowners and doing everything that comes along with that so i hope you'll stick around for these few videos as we go through my holiday decorating routine. And I'll tell you why I got into this. Uh, when I was a kid, my, uh, some of my family members would spend two weeks putting lights up all over their house. I mean, they went above and beyond, so much so that the neighborhood lighting competition in the town wouldn't even let them enter it anymore because they won every year. It was the place where people lined up down the street to go look at it take them two weeks to put it up and we would tear it all down in a day and just the week after Christmas. But it always just brought so much more excitement and cheer and it just, you know, you really got into the Christmas spirit because of it. And I always wanted to do that when I was a kid. I always wanted to decorate our house. My parents would throw me like one strand of lights and be like, here, Stretch this as far as you could, and it didn't get very far. So I always said, when I own my own house, I'm doing it. Nothing's going to stop me. And I knew it. The first season, it started out uh, pretty small, and it just grows another leg each year, and it just keeps growing and growing. And my plan is to add something different each year. So 
that it doesn't get too extravagant all at once. And I think that makes it fun. I've already had people walking uh, down the sidewalk. I've got one day of installation under my belt and people are already asking, so are you adding anything new this year? And the answer is yes. So they're excited. Folks are excited in the neighborhood to see what I'm adding to it. And I can't wait to show you what I've added to it because I've already got it done for this year and it looks, it really does look awesome. But I'm going to give you some of my tips about where I think you should start uh, if you haven't gotten into the Christmas light game um, and how you can just really, uh, uh, you know, succeed in putting up the Christmas lights because uh, I think you'll find that there's a little bit more strategy and uh, skill to it than just putting up a bunch of lights on the house. You really got to think through things uh, logistically or you could find yourself in kind of a sticky situation as I kind of did yesterday when I made a little bit of a mistake. But all is good now. Um, we're just getting started. I got a full day under my belt yesterday and then we'll get back at it again tomorrow. And I'm actually kind of glad it stormed and rained today because I'm telling you what, the up and down the ladder and the crouching and the kneeling and everything else just has me sore as all get out today. But in the end, it'll be worth it. Uh, it already is worth it because uh, the kids pulling up to the house after school just went bananas yesterday. And we had people coming out uh, yesterday evening after dark to come check it out with their kids. And I'm not even, I'm probably a quarter of the way through. So still a lot left to do. And uh, it makes it so fun when you kind of, you already have people wanting to walk by or drive by to see what you're doing. So anyway, that's what we're going to do over the next few videos. Um, and I'm hoping maybe we'll do a little bit more on this channel other than just lawn care content. I know that's what we're all here for. We want to talk about grass and we want to, you know, figure out ways to make our lawn as awesome as possible. But I think there's so much more to this community of lawn care fanatics than just grass. I think we are all interested in so much more than that. And I want to broaden our horizons here on the channel. So tell me, what are your thoughts on that? Give me some feedback. If you have any particular topics that you want to discuss, uh, I'm open to that. To, also, I, you know, I also want to talk about your lawns. You know, here's something. Let's just throw it out there and see if it sticks. I want to do like a viewer feature, like a budget lawns, uh, I hate the word fan because I see y'all more as my friends, not my fans, but a friends feature. Let's call it a friends feature. Hey, I want to make an entire video out of y'all's lawns. So... If you've got a lawn you're super proud of and you've got pictures or you've got video and you want to send it to me and I will do complete episodes highlighting y'all's lawns because I think, you know, I myself and I think others would like to check other people's lawns out besides mine, particularly if you've been following what I've been doing here on the channel and kind of the things I preach, just following the basics and not taking it too overboard. So what do y'all think about that? Talking about more than just lawn care here on Budget Lawns and then doing some features on y'all's yards and not just looking at my grass all the time because, you know, let's let's face it, doing these YouTube videos is, is um, so it may look easy for a lot of the people that do them, but it really does take a lot of time and especially when you're talking about trying to do the yard work and shoot these things. It, it, it really is kind of a juggling act. So I completely get it when, you know, people don't make videos or don't take a lot of pictures and blast them all over the internet of their yard, but you may still want to show it off. Well, let me show it off for you. If you think that's a good idea, leave me a comment down below and we'll get in touch and we'll figure out a way to make it happen to where we can talk about your yards and what you've done to see success. All right, that's it. Uh, just a little video today to kind of tell you about where we're going through the next month and a half or so with Christmas right around the corner. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Again, 
Give me all your feedback below. Let's make this work. We'll see you next time right here on Budget Lawns.